guys, so here we go. We've got a customer showcase guitar. This one is just legendary. It belongs to uh, Pete that owns Swiss Picks, and uh, he's got a great guitar collection. And he brought this one in to show us. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. Another one. So, yeah, we're going to remove that, and that's just our little horn guard. But uh, this is Michael Anthony's Charvel Pre Pro Bass. The blood the bass. Michael Anthony. The Michael Anthony. And there's uh this was the first one Michael had done. And if you look at that bridge, it is oxidized all to hell from sweat, as are the pull pieces of those DiMarzio pickups. It looks green. It DiMarzio. Looks, looking yeah. green. <laughs> and uh if you look on the um Fingerboard as we're going up. I have basically I've left all the Van Halen gunk on the, the Van Halen DNA. The DNA is on there. Um, so the frets have never been polished out. The fingerboard is how it came. Um, I did change the strings. Uh, what's kind of cool about this is the um, which is pretty rare about the in the Charvel world is the Explorer headstock. Um, you know, while we've seen a couple on Charvel stars and uh -huh. uh, you know, and even on like. I don't even know if I've seen these on early Explorer guitars. This, I've never seen a bass with this headstock, you know, that came out of Charvel. And what's kind of wild, too, is where we have the three and one. And um, So Charvel from 1983 or what year? Oh, this has got to be 1980. 1980. Yes, yeah, so this is pre-production. Can we set it up on top of the case? This video is brought to you by Swiss Picks. It's not just a pick. It's a science. Available at Zim's Guitars or at www.swisspicks.com. So, Michael Anthony's bass guitar from 1980, made by Charvel, yeah, Southern is, California. Yeah, this is, um, this might, yeah, this is definitely one of the San Dimas era ones, and, um, but, you know, super early San Dimas. It is numbered in the neck pocket, has a uh, three digit number in there which is um, uh, penciled or markered in. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, this bass was actually, this was, you know, one of the first that he has, the splatter graphics, as they call them. And you can see that there was a guy on YouTube who did the paint job, and he basically filled up a balloon with paint and threw it at this thing, and that's why we get the spread we get here. You know? Okay. And uh, So there's been replicas of this made? Um, of this bass? No, not really. Well, there, well, there's actually two. Michael Anthony had two of these. Uh huh. And the second bass, if you guys have seen like uh, the video for um, Charvel, the original gang, he has the other blood bass in there. Okay. The other blood bass is um, a pointy headstock. That's right. And on the back of that bass, it says WDFA for We Don't Fuck Around. That's right. I've seen that. Yeah. But this was the first one. And uh, this actually came by way of Michael Anthony's brother's best friend, is how I came across this. And he signed it in uh, 04 for the guy's name was Dennis. Um, what's kind of cool, too, is that... This guitar, like almost like the Wasp guitar where we talked about the monkey grip. Yes. Uh, there's a hole here <laughs> for Michael to basically put his finger in and just be able to maneuver the bass. And, um, you know, when we were kids, you know, when we saw this bass, like I just always wondered what that hole was for, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I never knew. Uh, just so he could kind of move it around. Put his finger something. in there, yeah, and basically be able to, you know, control the bass. And um, just that maple neck with this... Uh, Oh, that's it just looks like this thing just shreds. Yeah, it's there's some patina on there. Um, as we as we go up to through that neck and um, you know it's basically the old satin finish that they had on them. It's it's literally it's unfinished with just barely a satin a satin coating. Real smooth and yeah. Real smooth. And, All right, um, so the best part of the guitar. Well, it's might be the back of the guitar. The back of the guitar. Can we go there? We could go. We could okay, go. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna come around and uh, and probably we're gonna have to have you come around okay. and scope this out. So the back, <laughs> um, titled "Killer" here. Um, so it's rumored uh, through the guys at Charvel, some of the early guys, that when Michael was there and a bass was done, he put his hands in some red paint, and he's the one who wrote "Killer" on the back of it with his, yeah. with his finger. <laughs> I recognize his handwriting. Yeah, I recognize the writing. It's a it's a signature. Um, what's kind of cool about this one too, and this is super rare on Charvel's, is the clear backplate. 
So the see-through backplate is known to be an artist guitars thing or volume, volume, tone. Yeah, and what it is, and with this guitar, with this bass too, the pickups. So you have you know the P and J pickups. So basically, when you turn one off, it's off and the other's on, or vice versa, or you could run them both. Mm -hmm. and which, uh, and on another Charvel Pre Pro, I had a setup like that where you know one pickup would go off, one pickup would be on. And uh, it was it was kind of odd to not have a toggle switch, you know, right. <laughs> which you know most bases like this would have a toggle switch for the pickup controls. Um, and uh, yeah, well, let's we tell you about this. Yeah, so it's got the uh, I'm join just a black back plate with the and on the Explorers and on the Star Bodies they always put the strap button right through the um, yeah plate for balance, you know, just to balance yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, if you look at this neck, it's just totally patinaed. It's interesting that in 1980, how they did the just the black headstock and had the paint line. Right yeah, there. you can feel it. Yeah, and these are... Uh, Thin neck. It seems narrow right here, huh? Oh, yeah, super narrow. And narrow uh, this thing is fast. And what's interesting, too, if you look over here, too, there were definitely some tuners switched, uh, not by me, or by Michael through the years, and... Um, a couple you extra godos on there. Some godos, which was became the Charvel pickup of choice, you know. Um, I think even the early pre-production tunas were godos. Right. So, um, yeah. So this is the uh, the famous blood bait. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through some phone photos of where this base has appeared. Phone and photos. Phone photos are great. So this right here is uh, a Roto Sound ad from 1987 that uh, I saw in high school. And uh, with Michael's bass is around him, and the blood bass is laying right across his chest. Super so, cool. That's so, the one. So to have it here is pretty, pretty crazy. Let's see what else we got. These are some of my things. Oh, here's a really cool one. This is um, <laughs> this is pretty neat. So this is uh, like a magazine picture of Eddie Van Halen fretting notes on this bass while Michael Anthony's doing kind of like a Ooh. look ma, no hands kind of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. Just pretty kicking. You could actually say Eddie played this bass. Eddie played this bass. Here's a uh, here's a great shot of Michael Anthony with this bass, uh, doing his usual Jack Daniels gig there, you know, drinking it up and uh, he's, got, he's got an iron stomach. An iron stomach. <laughs> how that yeah. guy's how he's still alive is beyond me. I know. Huh? And uh, this is kind of cool, but it's going to be a little bit yeah weird. Phone, so it's a phone photo. It's a phone photo, but there's um this is from the official Van Halen live uh, poster of 1982. Where that bass is, uh, Michael's playing this bass in that poster photo. Nice. And what else we got? He's got more. Here's a little backstage with Eddie Van Halen with Michael playing this bass. And so and this the, was probably 1980, 81. Yeah, right around there, yeah. Maybe like uh, fair warning. Fair, no, fair warning? Maybe yeah, fair warning, yeah. And Diver Down was 82. Uh, okay. And uh, so that's a cool one there. Let's see what else we got. Uh, any studio do you think he did it and used it in the studio a lot you know it's hard to say here's another one just a band photo of van halen <clears throat> where he's holding that bass and eddie's yeah. got the uh the multicolored striped one of his which isn't the rasta but yeah, yeah. that one I, I don't know what that turned into because that guitar was uh you never to be seen again you know ah so here's um what a nice collection yeah. you have here, buddy. Thank you, man. This so this is a little bit of a dark picture, but this is when Michael Anthony was signing this bass uh, on the bar. He, uh, oh, yeah. He's bass was brought to a bar, bar yeah. <laughs> and they put it on top of the bar, and he signed He's it. like, okay, man, I'll do it. And so let's see what we got here. Yeah, so uh, here's another one of Michael with all his basses, and that blood bass is right there on the bottom. Yeah. Hanging out with them. <clears throat> and, you know, for any of you guys who, you know, out there who want to see this bass in action, if you go on um, any of the shows from 1982 on YouTube, uh -huh. this bass is in there. 1982, um, he yeah. had this on stage. What yeah. about the... We don't fuck around bass. When, when did was he using that at the same time? No, no, that was a pointy headstock. So that okay. came a little bit later. That okay. might have been around the '84 range, or yeah. '84 area. But um, yeah, so if you, any '82 show, there's a great one on YouTube from Baltimore, Maryland. And I know this because I'm nutty, but uh, somewhere right. around like 40 minutes in, 48 minutes in, uh -huh. is where this bass will be on stage for about 20 minutes nice. <clears throat> in the uh, rotation. Very and, nice. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, what's kind of cool too is just having Michael's original case with the KNAC sticker, yeah. and you know, and, uh, it's yeah. just a piece of history. One, K N A C. K N A C. Yeah, that was like the rock radio. So one thing that was kind of interesting too, like if people are gonna probably pick out and look at the strings here. Um, when I first got this, what happens too is if you tune, if you do all these tuners the right way, it creates such a tension that it pulls. It'll break the glue of the nut. And pull it out of the slot. Oh you know uh, I mean? yeah. Okay. So when I got it, it was actually you know, the nut was out here. You know wow. because the because the just the tension of these bass strings. Uh -huh. So that's why you know some of these are reverse wound, just to alleviate the tension on on the original nut. You know. Hey, he had a bass tech to tune it for him. Yeah, he had a bass tech, but you know, but it, like I said, the glue just won't hold if it's you know. I get it. Done like that. So um, yeah. So guys, this is the uh, original Michael Anthony. Blood splatter there it base. Is. Pete, thank you so much for bringing this in and showing everybody, man. Well, welcome, awesome Dane, collection. and we're going to get some more in for you and just okay. keep, these, keep these going, you know? Thanks so much. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.